It was a hot first day of summer as the Jackals played their second interleague game against the Fargo-Moorhead Redhawks. The lineup didn't change much from yesterday's game as Gerard Puto stayed put in the DH spot in place of Yazzie Arbello. Making just his second start for the Jackals after being traded from Rockland last week was Brandon Moore. We picked things up in the bottom of the fourth with the Jackals down 1-0, Chris Duffy on second, Brian Sabatella lines went back up the middle and off the glove of the second baseman to tie the game at one apiece. Later in the fourth, Gaetana Junta is up with runners on second and third. It's a nasty foul ball off his ankle, but stays in the game, and on the very next pitch, it's a great two-run single to give the Jackals their first lead of the game. Meanwhile, after giving up just one run in the first inning, Brandon Moore settled in and only allowed three hits in his six innings of work. At one point, he had 11 batters out in a row. However, the bullpen would allow the Red Hawks to get, take a 4-3 lead to the bottom of the eighth, when a wild pitch would allow Chris Duffy to score a crucial run to tie the game at four. In the bottom of the ninth, the game still tied at four, Kyle Nissen would walk, and Gaetano Junto would bunt him over to second to put the winning run on second base. But the Jackals failed to capitalize with back-to-back -back strikeouts, so the fans got some free baseball with extra innings. The Red Hawks would score three on the bases clearing double in the top of the tenth to put the game at seven to four, and that would be too much for the Jackals as they lose their second game in a row. The final score of tonight's game, Fargo, Moorhead, Red Hawks, seven, New Jersey Jackals, four. Fans the Jackals, thank you for attending tonight's Jackals fans, remember to like us on Facebook, follow us at Jackals Baseball on Twitter, and go to Jackals.com for tickets, info, and more.